Hey, and this is Faux Song Elizabeth Cookie, CEO, Mistress, Secretary of Goddesses Incorporated, and the ultimate anime mascot dealing with anything with anime, with women of the Sojo Sinchi universe, fighting video games, and of course anime. And so, I have been absent on a hiatus for a long time. I'm dealing with a terrible cold right now, so bear with me, people. Yes, I have gone through some serious drama since I came here in California, but I am still in the running to be the next top anime mascot goddess. The journey continues. And so, this is now kicking off my second season, and right now I'm here in Los Angeles with a very close friend. Maganda, please come. Thank you. Yes. Hello, everybody. And so... He has been showing me around here in the Chinatown of Los Angeles, California. And so we were st having this wonderful debate, wonderful debate about the Japanese and the Koreans and how much property they're actually trying to take over here in Los Angeles. Please, let's discuss this more. So tell me what you were saying before on how Little Tokyo is now on the verge of becoming Little Seoul. Okay, so what happened was is that Every time you go to a Japanese neighborhood in Los Angeles County, there's always a number of Korean businesses next to it. And if you, and all right, there's a large number of Korean businesses next to Japanese businesses in Los Angeles County. If you talk to the average Korean, or if you look at Korean pop culture, a lot of it suffers an inferiority complex to Japanese pop culture, which is very interesting. But what's also very interesting is that the number of Korean owned businesses that are slowly taking over these Japanese neighborhoods. Like, I'm sorry, you want me to continue? Yeah, go on. And what we're trying to find, what we're finding out is that now that the Koreans are taking over a lot of the Japanese property here in Little Tokyo, not only do they take over the businesses, but they also fire a lot of the Japanese workers and replace them with Korean people. Yes, yes. There was a little, to there's a Little Tokyo Galleria in downtown Los Angeles at the Little Tokyo and it had a Marukai on the bottom. It was always called the Marukai Mall because that is where people went. I'm sorry, the Mitsuo Mall, the Mitsuo Marketplace. And more recently, the whole building has been bought out by Koreans and they ousted all the Mitsuo Marketplace workers, changed the name of the Mitsuo Marketplace to the Little Tokyo Galleria to be a Pan-Asian market, but instead they hired all Koreans and the only thing Pan-Asian about it is all Korean food. There's only a little bit of Japanese food and all Korean food, only Korean magazines and only Korean staff. And it seems that the Japanese staffers that are there are the minority. And it's slowly taking over Little Tokyo into the fact that there's more Korean businesses, there's more Korean people in the senior housing because a lot of the Japanese senior housing people left because they couldn't afford it because they were kicked out of the Mitsuo place because most of the seniors work at the Mitsuo marketplace. This is something that's also common in New York. If you go on Bowery Street, there's a nice apartment complex called the Confucius Plaza and primarily anybody who is not Chinese really can't live in Confucius Plaza. Um, I had an interest in that apartment complex many years ago, but then when I found out if you're not Chinese, you can't live there, I basically, that kind of dashed my hopes and my dreams to want to live in Chinatown, New York City. Um, so I kind of had to throw that out the window. But there's always been a great tension between the Chinese and the Japanese and Koreans, and the Koreans don't like the Japanese, and the Japanese don't like the Koreans, and the Chinese don't like the Japanese. And so there's a, there's a three-way part of um, discrepancy that goes on still to this day. And so um, even though there's really no typical name to this episode right here, this is just um, a typical rant to kick off my second season. Um, please do look forward to the next time I will be continuing with my footage as the days go by, releasing one episode a week here on the Full Song Elizabeth Cookie Show. Thank you for tuning in. Say, Say cookie! cookie. <laughs> right? <laughs> Girl! You got it. I was waiting for you to do it.